So finally, after over 100 days of work, the autonator is complete. But now I have eyesores everywhere and I really want a lot of this gone. But I still need some farms. So I think I'm going to be making a giant hole over there. However, I have things that I need to do first before I can begin that over there. Like clearing out all of this. Oh wait, Skies, but what's that in your hand? Well, why thank you for asking. It's only the greatest addition to my hardcore world. It's me. Just look at this. I have an entire double chest and a half of me. I saw it going around on some other YouTubers. I saw Sand Diction do this and I saw one other YouTuber whose name I forgot do this as well. So I thought, hey, why not do it as well? Because I think, you know, I think it really adds to the video and it's also just really funny. Okay, so I need to clear out like this. I need to clear out. I need some place to hold some of these mobs. Like uh, for these guys right here. Oh God, this is gonna be so such a pain. Okay, so all the villagers are now in their own little cubicles, and admittedly, I didn't exactly think this through too well. But they have no beds, so it, we should be good in there, right? And the entire thing, wow, that looks weird. Wow, that looks really weird. So next up, I wanna get rid of the second biggest eyesore here. And uh, it's kind of useless now. I don't really need this thing. It's also gonna be an absolute pain to get rid of. They can survive any high, right? Oh, hey, would you look at that? It landed on my bed. <laughs> And thankfully, it didn't land on my merch. I've been working on this for a few months now, and I'm insanely proud to announce it's finally being released. I made sure none of my products are gilded, so they're all actually high quality and soft too. Majority of the items are embroidered, and I have a limited edition hoodie that's only being sold for two weeks. Get it now while it's still on the store. I'm also selling some champion hoodies, tie-dyes, and a lot of new items are coming to the store very, very soon. I hope you all enjoy them. So I didn't really think of this. Uh, how do I get rid of the water? Huh, nice and easy. Ta-da! It is, wow, that is a weird sight. Oh, that is weird. But in a very good way. I've been needing to get rid of that. It's so open and so much room. And next, we need to get rid of the cactus farm that I think I've used like once or twice. Boom, okay, and now that that farm's completely done, so that actually didn't take too long. That's gonna bug me. Ah! Much better. So before I forget, do a name tag, choose this person because I loved your comment. It actually made me laugh. And then I'm gonna make you an axolotl so you don't become a bee and disappear from my world. I need to actually breed these guys. That's a puffer fish. So how do I actually breed you? Oh, I didn't know that they could do that. Oh. Oh, hey, look, it's a little one. Boom, there we go, hate gravity. There you go, hate gravity. So now you're in my world forever and I uh, like your comment. If you'd like to be named after an axolotl in my world, just leave a comment. Whatever one I find the funniest, I'll just name you one. So all I have left now is just to get rid of the iron farm and then the bamboo farm because I'm gonna be putting that underground and making, you know, not an eyesore. And then I'm not worried about removing the iron farm right now because I kind of have a lot and a lot of iron. So I'm not exactly worried about losing out on iron for a little bit, so yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, remove that one, remove that one, bada bing, bada boom. I also just realized that I now have to redo the uh, the pipeline that goes back into here once the auto is overfilled. But at least now I won't have this on my land. And it is now actually the next day, and that was a ton of work. Uh, by far, I, I still hate villagers, in case you're wondering. Uh, I also hate zombies that are about 100 blocks in the air and are also incredibly annoying to get down to the ground. And the place is empty. It's very weird having my land be so open and speaking of land, I actually did a little bit of terraforming. Uh, I wanted to, you know, flush out the left side of the autoinator. I don't know why I left the land coming out for so far. Uh, it looked a little weird. So I definitely want to have something down here in the center where it's so open. Uh, I don't know what I want to put down here. So if you want to leave a comment, I'll probably do whatever the top comment is or whichever one that I laugh at the most. So now to actually do what the video is about, a 100 by 100 hole. Since I've kind of done that already with my witch farm, 
it, it should come at no surprise to you. I'm not going to be mining this thing. I'll do a little bit in the beginning. You know, I'll get rid of all the dirt, uh, the stone, collect some ores. Uh, I also don't really want to do flying machines. They're very nice and quick and they'll streamline the entire thing to go a lot faster. But at the same time, it just feels like I'm cheesing it way too much. And I feel like I'll just get a lot more content if I just do it by hand and with TNT, which is actually, you know, a lot easier possibility now because I have the witch farm and I need to go find another Sahara desert because um it's kind of gone. So before going and digging out the entire hole, I do want to mark down the entire area of it just to make it a lot easier. And since I kind of just did, you know, a lot of work on that with a lot of blocks, I have a lot left over and uh, I kind of want to follow the same design as that for down there. However, before digging into the hole, I do need to lower down this entire mountain or this little hill right here just so I can make the, uh, the outline a lot cleaner. Editing guys here real fast. I'm really close to 1 million subscribers. So if you enjoy this video, it'd mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe. And if this video gets 30,000 likes, I'll release episode 9 of this series. And one last time, I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who buys my merch. The support means the world to me, and I hope you all enjoy it. And the entire hill is gone, and now we can get to the fun part of mapping out the entire box. So one thing that I want to make sure that I do is actually make it kind of close to the auto innator, but not too close just to obstruct it. I want it closer just because I want the redstone in there to actually work, because when I was destroying some of the farms over there, I noticed some of the redstone was permanently on for some reason, and I'm not sure why. If you do know why it happens, it help me out a lot if you could tell me down in the comment section below. So I think it'd be best if I don't go too far that direction and I kind of keep it a little bit close to everything over there. I'm just a little bit worried about the water pathways. So I think if we have a corner over here. So we have... One, two, three, four, five. Now that the entire hole has been marked, uh, you'll notice that it's a little bit more to the right. I figured that over here would just fit a little bit better into the base. It, 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 over there, it just felt really awkward and way too far back. And as you'll notice that there's a lot of trees here, so uh, I need to get rid of them. And boom, there we go. So the forest is now completely gone. Uh, I don't know what happened to it. You know, it just magically disappeared. This is like the fourth time that they've come by in the last... 20 minutes so i guess they might be a little bit angry that the forest is gone i don't know if it's just me but this really doesn't look like that big of a hole however i think it would be best if i just go around and then make a line of where the hole actually is gonna be so i've been asked thousands of times to release my hardcore world and i know you'd all enjoy to play on it too so i've come up with a deal if you can get my twitter to 100 000 followers before 2022 is over i'll release this world for download so you can all play on here and now with the outline done of the entire hole uh, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Please laugh. So first up, I need to go and get rid of all the dirt, which is going to be the most enjoyable part of this entire thing and won't actually take me long whatsoever. And after two hours, all of the dirt is cleared. Uh, I guess it's now a battle arena. And I actually kept every single thing that I mined. So now I got dirt, 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 and you guessed it, diamonds. I wish. So I don't know if you saw in the time lapse or kind of near the end of it. I kept flying back and forth just to get rid of all the stone up here and turning into grass, but I kept flying back to the beacon to come over here just to mine it all faster. So I've already done this before, so uh, you can call me a pro. And there's no way I'm going to be mining all of this without a beacon. Of course, I could just take a beacon from over there, but it, it, it's becoming apparent to me that I'm going to be needing these as time goes on from all these projects that I'm doing. And I think I only need one for this hole. And so I might as well just go and farm some weather skeletons again. What? How did, how did a cat get in here? There's a fence around the portal. Oh, you hoo there's skeletons. Anyone uh, want to give me their skull? Hello? Does this place not work anymore? Oh, cool. Blazes. Exactly what I came here for. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Stop. I'm too beautiful to die. Did 1.18 change nether fortresses? <laughs> Let's go check out the wither skeleton farm. That doesn't work. Why is there a sheep in here? Oh! don't hurt me does this actually work like, i never finished it hey bud it's me would you like to give me a skull yeah i hate you too <laughs> yo what's up please subscribe wither skeletons still spawn in the nether we have confirmed that i feel like 1.18 oh never mind <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I guess 1.18 ruined their spawns, but nope, didn't. I won't lie, I was kind of expecting a lot more wither skeletons to spawn in here and then do like a speed montage of me just hitting them until I got all three skulls, but um, yeah, this is something else. 
Huh? How is there grass? Why couldn't there be wither skeleton spawners? Oh, hi. So is this farm actually my best bet at getting weather skeletons? <laughs> like the update actually fixed it or made it work. There you go. Come on, boys. I need y'all to be chasing me. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, hi. What's up, boys? Yes! So I did just get three skulls, but honestly, that didn't really take that long. So I might just stay here until I get two withers because, you know, there's nothing wrong with having two beacons instead of one. <gasps> yes! What? This is actually the first time I've ever seen them here. A zombie? Oh, yep. I'm 100% going to be making a Wither Skeleton farm in the future episode. I'm definitely not doing it right now. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. So I just figured out something. After hitting that guy, I realized. So you could tell which Wither Skeletons will actually drop a skull because the rest of their body will turn red when you hit them, except for their head. Their head will stay black because they're actually wearing the skull. So it's not actually something that they drop. It's something that they wear. I'm going to test that theory. Already, let's test my theory. He's not going to drop one. He won't. And he won't. I was correct. Okay. So that's actually a very interesting way to test it out. So I mean, like it could save you time if you just run around and just hit with their skeletons. And then if you realize that none of their heads are staying black, then you can actually just leave them alone. Okay. Do you have it? No, it's not. Always when you're one skull away from a wither, the next like 50 wither skeletons that spawn in, make sure that it just doesn't give them anything. In fact, just give them stone swords. Oh, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. I've always wanted just stone swords. I didn't want anything else. Oh, I think he's wearing one. Oh, you debated me. It looked like he had a big head. Let's see, let's see. Of course not. Of course not. Hello, boys. Oh, wait, what? Did he? Wait, I thought his head was red when I hit him. I didn't notice it staying black. Sweet, we're all done. So I guess I wasn't too correct about it. No, no, okay, I, I must have saw it. I must have seen things wrong. Okay, so now that's all done. And then if I go over here to the portal, come down here, boom, 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 boom. And there we go. Whew. And there you go. That's how you kill the wither professionally and really fast. <laughs> and now to do that one more time. And there we go. That is how you complete two withers painlessly. <laughs> okay, so now to make them into beacons. How do I make beacons again? Ah, I knew that. Okay, so 10 glass, 6 obsidian. Hey, look at that. I surprisingly have a lot of glass. I wonder where all that came from. I'm hoping I have enough iron for me to complete this beacon. Don't know where I'm going to get any of it at all. Hang with me here. It's been a couple months since I've built a beacon. I think this is right. Boom. I want haste two. And we have haste two. I, why are you on the right side? I thought it was always on the left side. Now, let's see. Let's just say, you know, I go up here. Oh, yeah. This is oh, oh, incredible. Oh, this is going to be so easy. This is going to be so easy to do. Oh, this is uh, this is already going better in the witch farm. I mean, kind of. Not really. Because <laughs> I really didn't want to mine anything in the witch farm. It's just I do want to collect some of these resources in the beginning. But as time goes on, there's absolutely no way I'm going to collect every single block on this because that would just be way too much of course like I, I can and then i just make more chests for the uh, the item sorter like instead of them just only having like one slot i let them have like two or three but now for the fun part of mining this down i think i'm gonna mine for an hour and then i'll come back and then just you know show you how much work that i have done I'm almost tempted to put a hopper line that goes straight into the sorting system over there, or at least like to like a water pathway just to make this go faster. Cause I mean, realistically, I'm going to have to in the future create one. So it's not like it'd be a waste if I just spend some time and do that because this entire hole is for farms in the future. So I feel like if I just make the water pathway now, it's just saving myself some time in the next episode. Plus then I don't have to keep traveling to a different area. I could just keep putting it into a box and then there we go. So this is roughly six or seven hours later. I honestly don't remember. I kind of lost track of time, but pretty good progress. So I perfectly centered the beacon. So now the entire hole is covered with haste too. So it's actually, it's really nice, really incredible. 
The next thing, which I'm not certain how I want to do this yet. So I went around and perfectly centered everything with all of the sea lanterns. Now, what I don't know if I want to do this is either just keep it all straight line going all the way down to bedrock or every single three, it goes over one more block. So as it goes down, it just spirals and it might look really good. Also have to do a lot of terraforming. There's so much to do. There's also so much to collect. This is still all dirt. This is all stone. This is all cobblestone. And then this is for the future for like everything else because yeah my sorting system is kind of completely full so yeah once i get to finishing that in the next episode i might have to have like two or three slots with certain blocks in there just so i can hold a lot more and then i also need to bring my cobblestone wall around this i'm really happy i didn't finish that wall design that i had uh, i think it was like in the 200 300 day movie whatever something like that yeah i'm really happy i didn't do that yet now to show you what it's like to mine a 100 by 100 hole If any of you are wondering where the extra stone or any item that I have that I don't really want to store anymore, it goes in the lava. So I didn't like the design that I was going for originally. After getting down to the second layer, it just, I don't know, I, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't really like it whatsoever. So instead, I've opted for the painful version, which is... Uh... So I mean, collecting the sand for all of this really isn't too difficult anymore. Luckily, I still have a lot of blocks left over from uh, that. So this isn't really too difficult, but I am kind of low on all of it, so that'll be fun to collect everything but i just feel like this fits the autonator so much better and it keeps them with the same theme of it plus in between every single layer i guess you can say is three natural block layers right there so it still keeps it natural and it makes it futuristic and very weirdly enough this isn't even close to as annoying as the witch farm was to make all of this it's just really tedious to answer all of your question on am i going to be digging this all the way down to bedrock no uh, definitely not i'm only doing this because i need a lot of the resources in here mainly just the rock stuff and now here is my hole about three days later i think it's been and it's going pretty well i also really don't like how these are spaced out i feel like it should be more because now i'm thinking if i do this like a hundred times going down it's really not going to look too good so i'm going to start spacing those out a lot more this is also taking me a lot of time it takes about an hour two hours just to go down by three blocks for the entire layer so we definitely need to change something up but i also want it to stay looking pretty so now what i'm thinking about doing is going around and just you know digging about four blocks away from every single single wall all the way down to Hubble Deep Slate or whatever the Deep Slate block is just going all the way down there and just making a nice little uh, buffer for this because I'm going to be using TNT and I really don't want to blow up the wall and have to repair everything. I've also tested out a little bit of TNT that I currently had. So if I just do it like TNT block on top, TNT block on top, I can kind of have it controlled like this, but it won't go continuously. I have to keep on relighting it. So it's not really good. Also, if I just do a straight line of TNT all the way down to cobbled deep slate, it's uh, messy and a lot harder to control. So for TNT, I have the gunpowder already. However, I don't exactly have the sand covered and as much as I would love to go through and clear out another desert, there's an easier way to do this. It's just to make that farm, I need to go and get prepared for it, obviously. and done very luckily i can actually fit everything into one shulker because they're kind of full right now and i don't really have any oh yeah you probably noticed this so i put a few bees back into the beehive and then i've been breeding them just you know i'm actually getting an army again and i want to know your input on this should i rename one of the bees to bumble since we kind of lost them unfairly it was to an update and it's not like the bee actually died i've also been hard at work i just emptied this i think 10 minutes ago something like that so if i see a comment with yes name one of the bees bumble again and has enough upvotes on it then i'll do that and then we'll have bumble again because i don't really find it fair that we lost her in the first place now for something scary to actually use this farm we kind of need to use something that is irreversible and a little worrying but even if it goes wrong i think there's like seven other strongholds in my world actually i think there are six i think i had an issue with one of them not actually spawning but now we have to break the end portal for this to work I kind of wish I brought a bucket with me just so I can keep all the lava, but first we have to get rid of all of this. Next up, we have to make the room bigger. And I just remembered that I, yep, hello. <laughs> right as I say it. Yep, hello, yep, I, I really, really don't need you here.
And not to repeat the exact same thing on the other side. Yes. Hello. I, I, I didn't miss you. Oh, hi. No. No. No, 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 no. No, this is bad. Now we actually need to go through and remove the portal part, which I'm very worried about. Because of this breaks, I get to go and find a new stronghold. So first we want to do is go to the middle of one of the sides, go down and then go two blocks over and then dig one, two. Then it should look like this. So you have like that one block gap from there. And then you go and get your dirt. You go over here and place it at the bottom of it. You get your red mushroom and then you place it there and then you bone meal it. Owie, okay, no, please don't kill. Okay, 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 there we go. Perfect, exactly how I wanted it. If we remove the mushroom, the portal frame is now gone. And now that side's complete. We just repeat it over here and there we go. We now have a very funky looking end portal. That's now permanent. <laughs> I just realized this is really gonna suck if they ever release an update to where if there's no portal frames on the sides, it just breaks the portal. I'm sure that'll never happen. That's for future me to worry about. I'll be older, therefore wiser when that time comes. Now to actually start building the duping machine. First, you have to go underneath the first like block edge right there, and then you place a block on the ground. Next up, you wanna put your sticky piston facing this direction. Then you wanna go one, two, three with a redstone, and then go one, one, two, three, break the ground. Next up, we need to go and get our repeater facing the portal. And then we want to set it to four ticks. So set it to the maximum. And then we get the redstone again to go one, two, three. And then we place two building blocks. I just chose cobblestone because I have a lot of it for very obvious reasons. And then we just put two right there. Then we get the repeater again facing this direction. Don't touch it at all. That's perfectly fine. And then you add a redstone right there. Place another building block right there. Go over here, get our redstone torches. And now the fun starts. So we go boom. And we go one right there. We really don't want that going non-stop, so we need an on and off switch. Put a lever right here, and then you flick it off. There we go. Get the sticky piston back out, face it this direction towards the portal. Let's get some temporary blocks just to help us with building. And then we want to go up here just so we can see the top of the machine. Add two more building blocks this direction. And then you want to be careful with this one. We're going to put another repeater facing this direction towards the portal, and then just hit it once. So now it's at two ticks. And then we add redstone right here. Then come to the front of this machine get your building block and then we want to put i just realized i made this one block too short okay much better so get your building block you want to put one in front of the repeater and then you want to put one on the ceiling just like this so you have like a little staircase once you have it all like this you can either jump up here just to make it easier but we want redstone on this block so you could just look at the block right here and then boom we have redstone up there then we're going to go around and clean up the temporary blocks Next, you want to go back to your sticky pistons and then right here, you want to do one. Place it kind of carefully just so it's also facing down. And then we come over here and then place you down. So now it should look like this. Then get your slime blocks. One, two, three. And go to the sticky piston over here and go one, two, three. And now everything that we just built on the left side, we make it onto the right side. And boom, now the other side of the machine is done. So now for us to actually be able to use this while we're AFKing in the end, we have to make a chunk loader in here. I'm hoping that this doesn't cause an issue because none of this is even in the chunk. So you need it in the exact same chunk. So for us to do this, we first have to make some room for it. So now we need to go and get the obsidian, the flint and steel. And then to be safe, yeah, we're going to build the portal right here which I am really hoping is not too far over. Next up, you need to build a two by four hole right in front of it, about three blocks down. And then we want to make some room underneath the portal. I think three is fine for this. We need to go and get our droppers. And then from the portal, we need to go one, two, three. The fourth one on top needs to be facing the portal. Now we need to get our comparator. And then we need it to be facing away from the droppers. So facing this direction. And then you want to put a building block right next to it. Then we need to come back up here and then get our observers. Go back to the building block and then you want to put some redstone on that. And then you want to get your observer and then have it facing towards the redstone, just like this. And then you want to come back up here and then you want to have another observer facing towards it. And then you put your last redstone dust right on top of the observer. Now go back to your shulker, get your hoppers, and then you're going to want one hopper facing the bottom dropper and then another hopper facing that hopper. So it should look like this. And then you want to go get your rails from your shulker box and then put them on top of the hoppers just like this. And then you add your building block on both sides. 
just like that. And then on top of the rails, you want to put your hopper minecarts, just like that. Once that is all done, you want to come back up here, light up your portal. Make sure you have all the items that you're going to be needing for this. I need more redstone. Once you come through the nether, you're going to want to rebuild the machine. It's just hopefully you're luckier than me and you don't have lava. Also, while building the nether side of the machine, uh, watch out for gas and then make sure it's all built in the same chunk. Once you rebuilt the machine over here on the nether side, before you head back to the overworld, make sure you have a wall on this side just to prevent the item from coming through on the wrong side of it and then head back to the overworld. Once you're back through, go to the bottom dropper and just add any item that you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to put a cobblestone in there and something went wrong. Oh boy. Okay. So it's been a little bit and I actually had to use another tutorial on a chunk loader because I just could not figure out how to get the original one to work. This one is from Zina Uma or Zuma. I honestly, I'm so sorry. I cannot pronounce this name, but this is from him. There's a link in the description. If you want to go check out his chunk loader, it works perfectly. I love it. And another thing that I found when looking through the comments is that apparently this is broken and the way to fix it is getting three leaves and then putting them on top of this redstone right here because when we put any of the gravity blocks like sand gravel concrete powder whatever on here is that they would fall down and then they would just break they just wouldn't continue working so if you use the leaves your redstone signal can still travel through it it'll still work and this will make the entire thing work now that this is all done hopefully i'm going to put the sand on top of the slime blocks right next to the portal and then what we want to do is flick it on and test it out to make sure it works. This is incredibly important. If you're in the overworld, do not leave this on or else you will never be able to go back to the end if you leave it on for too long. There will be too many entities in there and it will just break. So we're just going to leave this on just for a few seconds. And then it seems like the leaves actually make it work. The machine seems to be working perfectly fine. Let's turn this off. Also, now that we've let it run for a little bit, we can now go through and see where we need to make the collection system. Oh, I have no idea where I need to build the collection system. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. So by doing that, it didn't exactly explain, but I do know that they fly out this direction. It's still hilarious to me that it goes straight into there. So I'm kind of in luck because I don't really have to clear out too much from this, but you want to go to the center of the obsidian platform and put temporary blocks on both sides, just like this. Also, we're going to want to build a staircase going down to the collection area. So now that the platform's done, I just went three blocks below the obsidian platform and I just made it nice and huge around here just so I can actually walk around and be comfortable. What you want to do now is get your chest and we're going to go one, not like that. I'm going to go one, two, four, and boom. So you want to have a line just like that and then you're going to copy it over here on this side, just like that. Then you go and get your hoppers and then you want to add it to all of the chests just like this. And then break your temporary blocks right above the chest and then add some hoppers on top of it facing the chest so that it should look like this. So I messed up and used too many uh, permanent blocks down there. So now what you want to do is go around the hopper and build a three block tall and then build a three block high tall wall around it. Then go back to the hoppers and then you're going to want to place buttons right here just so when the sand comes and lands on it, it'll break and then just repeat it on the other side. Alrighty, now apparently this is all done. And then now the farm is basically done. Just need to test it out. <laughs> fingers crossed. And then now to flick these on, fingers crossed. I'm really hoping that this works in the end and I don't have to rebuild the uh, collection spot. Hey, there we go. Now we have ghost sandbox flying in on Mach 27 speed. They land perfectly on the hoppers. Yep. It's working perfect down here. Sweet. I don't have to go mine out the Sahara Desert anymore. Ah, oh, beautiful. And while we're here, you know, hey, might as well just go heal everything. Ah, oh, beautiful sounds. Oh, I missed it so much. Probably should have built the platform out of leaves. Probably would have been the smartest decision. Now that this is all going completely perfectly, I'm just going to go AFK for about 30 minutes and then we'll see how much sand we have at the end. Hopefully this was worth it and I have a very strong feeling it's definitely worth it. So I forgot if I said this before, but all the tutorials I'm using for these farms are in the description. And I'm curious if you like me showing you how I build these farms or if you want me to just skip that and show you the finished project. I know you're only enjoying longer videos, so I think this is all good to include, but please tell me your thoughts in the comments. Okay, so it's been exactly 30 30 minutes and these guys are driving me insane <laughs> so now oh 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, this is, this is definitely a lot better than going out into a desert and having to collect sand myself. The only issue, I don't exactly have a lot of space. However, I will take all of them that I can. And now we actually have to kind of quickly go and turn it off. Uh, turn you off save the end don't make it crash so then coming back into here once those are all off you just break the bed you put it back down you jump back into the portal say hello to the six foot tall man try uh, to remember to breathe i know it's very difficult and then we have an instant teleport what okay now as i was saying is once you go past the inner menu you come back down here and then you teleport back into your base there we go and then we sleep once we get here so sadly that's not all of the af king i have to do even though i still need to actually prepare the place down here for tnt first what are you doing in my swamp so I do actually need to go and clear out some of these shulkers because I kind of need them again. Ooh, actually here, we'll just, put them, we'll just put them all in barrels. So I'm just going to leave the sand there, but I do actually need to go get a lot more gunpowder because I kind of used all the gunpowder that I had into rockets because, you know, uh, my base is really big and I have to fly a lot. And now uh, the ground actually looks kind of cool if I just leave it like that. So now over at my witch farm, of course, I know, I know a lot of you have told me, go and make a creeper farm. You'll get a lot more gunpowder. It'll get, a, it'll get you a lot faster. I'm too lazy and I don't want to. So now just to AFK in here for a few hours while I get a lot of gunpowder from them. And it is now, oh, I'm sure there won't be any phantoms spawning in here. So it's actually the next day. I'm kind of worried about the platform because I was hearing thunder. I mean, everything looks good and I, not the worst i was honestly expecting a lot less so it's not the worst at least it gives me some tnt i'll just have to be doing this a ton which i might be doing off camera just to not bore you all it's not the worst amount of tnt i could have gotten a lot less for all of this however i still need to prepare the entire hole to be blown up and as i was saying before i think i'm just gonna go around and dig out like four blocks away from the wall on all sides all the way down the cobble deep slate which i know that's gonna take forever so yay more digging why did I decide to do this? So that's a bit of an issue is that case two over there can't reach me down there. So now we have to kind of cut it early and go through and do all the TNT and lower this down a lot so that I can lower down my beacon. I mean, it's not really that much of an issue just because I was gonna have to do it anyways. So the thing with TNT and working with stone, so here's my plan with it and it'll be a perfect explosion going all the way down, absolutely no issues. So first you'll light it. And then since it's around stone, boom, you get a perfect three by three, sometimes, most of the time. And now what I have to do is go through the entire floor, put TNT. I actually don't know if this is faster or slower than me mining out the entire thing. I'm sure, you know, nothing bad will happen if I don't have my totem in my hand. I actually think I need to remove the beacon because doing this took a lot longer just because I have to be very careful with breaking blocks since I can still delete them instantly. I also need to go get flint steel. I really don't want to have to shoot every single TNT. And then once all the TNT is down, you just go boom. No! How is that? How was that not far enough away? Then we just have to go through and clean it up. I do not want to mess like last time. That would not be uh, very good. So that took me many, many hours. Plus, by doing it this way, like I care right now, I probably won't care in about 20 hours, is that I can still collect all of the ores that are in this block, but pretty soon I am really not going to care. And now we just repeat the process again. You know what, now that I'm actually doing this, I was thinking that this would have been good because, you know, I can still control the blast. So I can have like really nice walls, make this place look beautiful. It's still hitting the walls somehow, even with this much of a buffer zone. And I have to go down like 80 Y levels, 100 Y levels, something like that. At this rate, this video won't be done for like two months. Plus, I'll be needing a lot of flint and steel. However, there are other TNT duplicating machines that I can actually control. They'll still be kind of slow, but I can at least kind of control it just to prevent all of the walls being destroyed and looking really disgusting. I need to fix that. Luckily though, for this machine that I have in mind, it is a lot cheaper than the witch's hole that I had to blow up. So it hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so there's been a little bit of a cut and hear me out. It's them again. So I do like the control TNT method. However, that's just gonna take way too long. And then this video is just gonna be released in like a month or two again. And I know none of us want that. I do know that this is gonna cause a lot of damage to the walls, probably blow up some of the rings that I've already built, but I think I can go back and just kind of fix up everything and make it look nice. I'll actually make it look pretty since, you know, it's in my base. And this rate, I could actually finish this in like 
a day or two now. So I think it's the best bet to keep it on brand. I didn't test out any of these whatsoever. I just went back to my redstone world and kind of just copied the build that I had before because I kind of forgot how to make them. And then I made sure that everything was lined up perfectly. I checked coordinates a lot. So I think we'll just start with one just to make sure it works. Who's on my wall? Yes. Okay. Okay. No, no. Oh. What? Why'd you stop? Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> Oh, I line them all up for this block, not this one. I have to move all like 11 down one block. Oh, 13. There's 13 of these that I have to move back one block. At least it didn't continue into the wall and like th this is easily salvageable. So at, at least there's that. Uh, I'll fix that later. Another reason why I want to control all of these and not really do it too fast is so I can keep going back and forth. I really want to collect all the resources and especially when I get down far enough, I want to collect that cobbled deep slate because I do have some ideas with it. So that will be huge. Also with this being around four to five chunks shorter than the witch's hut area that I had to mine out, it, this is going to be a lot faster. So doing it this way is going to be a lot more doable. This will probably take me three, four days at this rate of doing it, which I'm completely okay with because I think I've spent like two weeks getting down this far. Let me go and uh, fix up all of those. And now every single one of the stoppers over there has been moved over one block. I kind of tested it out a little bit with just this one. Everything should finally work. I'm also just a little scared to turn these all on at once because it kind of broke last time. So I think we'll do four at a time to see how it goes. Ooh. Okay, that one TNT that flew into the air, that was a little alarming because I'm not removing my beacon because I'll have to go through and like kind of clean up because I really don't want any leftover blocks on here. So I'm really hoping it doesn't hit that at all, but I know once it gets a little bit lower, we're totally fine. And I think it's just this one and then the machine all the way to the right that I'm gonna have to look out for because I think we're all good. That machine broke. Why did that machine break? No, don't tell me it got hit by TNT. It's missing two slime blocks. Interesting. I think I can easily fix that. Uh, ah, oh, oh, ow. Do you work? Okay. Phew. We're doing a lot better than last time. Oh no. Oh no. It's already blowing up down there. Okay, sweet. So we just move very slow in the beginning just so everything can get lowered. Uh, I need to go through and, you know, remove some of these blocks. That's another huge thing, especially over here. I thought I bolted it close enough to where it would handle all of this, but apparently not. Okay, now that that section's kind of done with, let's do one, two, three. Let's just do three. That was a perfect run. And then time to go in and clean up everything, collect all my stuff. I got one, two, three. Oh, uh, that one wasn't bad. A little bit of damage on the wall. That was expected. And then let's just do the last two right now. I'm worried about this one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that makes me so nervous. Oh God, that makes me so nervous. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, nah, that's completely gone. That wall is gone. Oh. <laughs> All my hard work. Oh my, okay. Okay, that was just disrespectful. That was on purpose. That one was 100% on purpose. That was so disrespectful. Okay, cool. I wasn't expecting to have to fix up the second to bottom ring, but at least all of these do work. Let's go and clean it up. I want my loot. I'm also starting to get to the point to where I don't need coal anymore. I've almost maxed out my sorting system on it. So yeah, I don't really know what to do soon. I might have to stop using bamboo for a little bit. Even surprisingly er is that uh, I have more coal than iron. So at this rate, if I keep going for every single resource, this is still going to take me a super long time, even though with the TNT, it is a ton faster and more deadly. I think I'm just going to rush down to uh, gold and diamond and lapis and all that stuff, because I kind of want those a lot more than I need coal and iron, especially since I'm going to be making farms for both of those items soon. So I kind of don't really need to collect them anymore. All right, you're lower. So let's go one, two, three, four. Please don't hit it. Please don't hit it. Please. Thank you. See, very nice. I like these four. I, I hate that one. And if any of you were following along with digging a 100 by 100 hole, one, why are you doing that? And two, I think I'm just going to do two passes and then clean it up. Two passes, clean it up and just keep doing that. Wait, that's you're not there, right? Oh, my God. Oh, don't do that to me, game. 
And now we're back on janitor duty. So I thought I built it close enough that this wouldn't happen because you know, I remembered it from last time. So I actually built them, I think two or three blocks closer than what I did before. And um, yeah, nope, nope, still doesn't matter. Looks like my janitor job is done. So let's just teleport to the future to where I've done this about like 10 times each and then just get to a lower level to where, you know, there's actual important stuff. So a little bit of time has passed and I made it all the way down to Cobble Deep Slate. And it's kind of a bad thing, but it's not really that bad. But yeah, these machines don't reach the edges like at all. So I still have to mine a ton. And there was one thing that I found really interesting that, you know, I figured you guys would like to see. I, I have a huge hole, not in that context, but you know, I, I have this huge like mining hole, which will actually speed this up a drastic amount, probably like a day. However, I do want to explore it since one, I never knew that this was underneath my house and uh, two, I can actually get some more resources in here. At least the ones that I care about, like diamonds or maybe gold. Oh, hey. <laughs> that looks so fake. Oh, that looks so fake. Oh, that looks so fake. I love it. Like, oh, yeah, like diamonds are gold. Immediately finds gold and then diamonds right behind it. Oh, man, that, that wasn't fake for anyone wondering. I promise you. So another huge aspect, if you haven't seen my I mined a hole in 50 hours video, I heavily recommend seeing it. I think it was a really good video and a lot of stuff happened in there. I also found a lot of Easter eggs, or I guess just a lot of rare stuff that I didn't know was rare. But another big thing in there was there was lava everywhere. Very weirdly, I haven't really been seeing any lava. I think I've seen like three lava pools and that was it. So that's awesome. Almost as awesome as finding more gold and diamonds. <laughs> Oh, hi. No, no, this room is occupied. Thank you very much. It's kind of a cool cave. Not really against it. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Don't mind me, boys. I'm just here to steal some more of your resources down here. Don't mind me. Some would actually consider this an honor. Ooh, it is turning nighttime. I had to put into perspective on how massive the hole is. I usually have to take two or three rockets to get out of it now. Ow, my God. Okay, I didn't think I was going to hit it. I thought I I thought I was clear. I'd please get hungry. Please, I, I really would like to eat. Thank you. See, it's kind of strange that I'm getting to the point in this world to where none of the resources really matter to me. Like, I don't need redstone. I don't need iron. I have farms for both of those. I don't need gold. I have a farm for that one. I'm kind of shocked with how rare copper is in here. Oh, hi. Anyone else? Anyone else want to come out and play? I keep on feeling like the warden's gonna jump out of like nowhere. <gasps> There's no way. There's no way. Oh, oh. There's no way. There's a geode right next to my house. I can actually make a geode farm. That's incredible. No way. I don't have to travel 20,000 blocks again just to get some more. That's actually insane. Let's see. Don't mind me, boys. Don't mind me. Spider, it is daytime. You can relax. Whoa. Wow. There's just like an entire underground world right below my base. <laughs> nope, never mind. Don't want to go there. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm just, you know, run through. I'm just sightseeing. See what you guys have to offer. You know, anything that I can steal. Yeah. This place is huge. They weren't kidding about upgrading the cave system. Also kind of crazy how there's just no good ores. What is that? Is that glow squids? There's actual glow squids in there. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, don't mind me, boys. Uh, I'm just running through. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. It's okay. Nope, nope, nope. You really don't need to shoot me. How do we get out of here? Oh, hi. Just one? I mean, thanks, I guess. Please don't. Okay. Oh, hi. Yeah, I, I just want to look around the cave system and I'll be out. We, we don't have to fight. We could be peaceful, you know, just give me maybe like 20 minutes and then, you know, I'll, I'll send the carpet bombs down here. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Nope. You'll be hearing a lot of those noises in, you know, just you know, a couple of minutes. Oh, wow. There is sure is a lot of you down here. My God. Okay, so I mean, there's really nothing down there. If I need redstone or iron, maybe a little bit of gold, then yeah, it's a good place. Also, luckily, I don't have to move these yet. I'm really not looking forward to that at all. But I thought I'd just show a little bit of an update on where we are with this. It seems to be going faster than the witch farm. I mean, we would have been done about now. Man, that's actually kind of depressing hearing that coming out of my mouth. But... 
I think we're close. Luckily, it's a cave down there, so this is kind of misleading on how much work we have to go, but I think we're gonna go one, two, three, we'll do four. I just realized if there's any geodes down there, they're kind of gonna be bye-bye. <gasps> oh, I can spot you from a mile away. <gasps> oh, and there's more. And then even though copper's super easy to get, I've kind of realized with how nice it is because it's a building block more than a mineral or an ore. I also could have sworn that getting rid of this took a lot longer. This really doesn't feel like that long. Where? There you are. So many cave systems. Yeah, maybe this actually won't take too long. Ooh. Ooh. Please don't blow up. Ooh. I thank you for not blowing up. 47 diamonds so far. Jeez. Organize soon. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh man, I thought I was going to hit that and die. I need to get it organized soon though. Inventory's getting too full. Uh, I'm not going to be missing uh, this hole once it's all done. I kind of just want to see the end of the project. So I think I'm just going to focus these four until we actually reach it there. And I think I'm getting to the point where I'm just starting to really not care about any ores. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Dang. Dang. How big is this? Got a little bit of diamonds before, but I'm back up at uh, 21. Ooh, lapis. Cobble deep slate ores look like the coolest ones in this game. Like these way more than the uh, traditional ones. I actually might not need to move these machines at all. I think they can still reach the very bottom. So I think we're near it down there already. Oh no. I don't think the TNT reaches down here. Please reach the cave. No. Oh, it doesn't reach the cave down there. I do have to lower them. Man. Oh well. You know, I, I had hopeful wishing. We'll run them one more time. Go back down, mine some more. Hello, slime. Oh, wait, no, I did. Oh, wait, I need to go get organized. Now we can go pick up even more stuff. Um, no, no. Done with the first four lines. Now for the next four. So bummed I'm going to have to move these. There we go. Go, my beauties. I think I'm only going to go down there if I see diamonds or lap or water. Uh, that too. That actually has to go before that creates an issue. Oh, so interesting. I didn't know that you could actually mine tough instantly with a beacon. That's pretty good to find out. So as I was saying, I think I'm only going to be coming down here now if I see diamonds, lapis, emeralds, maybe gold if I'm feeling quirky and silly and a little bit of goofy. We need to get out of here or else we are going to die. Oh, wow. Inventory fills up fast. Go back over here, get organized once again. Need to be fast. I don't like leaving the boom boom machine unattended. It can go very wrong. Oh, hello. You might want to move, buddy. It might not be safe to stay there very, very soon. Not that I really care. Oh, you're a big pool. Yeah, I think I just need to go get my sponges and get rid of that water. I find that a lot easier than just going through and just placing blocks down or using my water bucket. Okay, still no geode, so I still haven't taken a massive L. I hope it stays that way. I need to very quickly turn these off. I'm not gonna get there in time. Whew, barely. Seconds to spare. Okay, now where did I put the sponges? I right, look, I found the sponges. Please let me in, please. Wait, no, wait, no. Okay, there's an easier way to do this. I'm making this way too difficult. Okay, wait, there we go. That was it? Two sponges needed? Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I don't know why I was expecting like a huge underwater system, you know, fish everywhere. Not really. I just want to make it sound more dramatic. Oh, what happened to all the bad mobs? Oh, they're not spawning in anymore. Is it because I destroyed their ceiling? <laughs> eh, eh. Is that diamond? Huh. That was two. Sweet. Thanks, TNT. I believe that's everything collected. It's starting to turn nighttime. Okay, now that that's all safe. One, two, three, four. So it's this one. You. You and you. Go, oh, my boom booms. It is kind of pleasing just watching it. Okay, this one's almost down to the maximum floor. I noticed apparently I made them one block apart too far. Maybe. Okay, but there's still a lot you can do. Never mind. Wait, I'm I'm slow. Never mind. Ignore that. Don't put that in the video. Okay, I, I didn't realize that that was that down. Okay. Wait, I just realized that is lapis lazuli. Oh, no, there's diamonds over there. Wait, am I not? I don't think you can reach it. Oh, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why you guys were worried. It couldn't reach it the entire time. Wait, where did it go? Diamonds? We're not playing hide and seek. There were diamonds over here, right? Oh, it destroyed the top one. Please wait, please wait. No, no, TNT. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I want one more pass and then I think it's good. We're making good progress. You know? It's not going too shabby. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's looking done. 
kind of want that gold. Alrighty, we're finally on the final quarter for this level. And then I've noticed for this one, I have to kind of keep it back from the rest of them so that the TNT doesn't splash over. So I kind of fixed it near the bottom area, but the top part, yeah, that, that took a lot of damage. And somehow that went up there. Now you go. And then this should save the wall just a little bit. I'm kind of shocked with how rare diamonds are now. Ooh. Ah, uh, uh, we have to pause it. The lava just had to come back. Oh, it's just one block. Oh, okay, sweet. Ooh, hello. Okay, now that the hazards are gone, now we can resume all of these. There you go. Go get them, tiger. Oh, how are you? Hey, can you hold this for me? Ah, oh, thank you. First try. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Uh oh No! There's diamonds! No! My precious! Oh, hey, look, diamonds. My precious. Oh, uh, my time to shine. I wonder if I could jump and land in there. I think I can make it. This won't kill me, right? Ooh. Hello, diamonds. So I think this is done. Some of the walls aren't like completely flushed out and flat, but honestly, that really doesn't matter. Once I lower them, it'll, you know, fix everything. Unless I can't make it before they start going again. No, I'm not making it. Oh, just barely. Oh, well, one more run doesn't hurt. I should find like diamonds again. Or more water. That also works. But you, I could jump in there and make it without even waiting to look. Oh. Oh, hi, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, remove your home. I'm really sorry. And uh, steal your diamonds. I, I'm, I, I swear, I am sorry. I'm not really sorry. I'm just telling them that to make them feel better. Wow, this is a lot of water. Like, a lot, a lot of water. Okay, I, I really was not expecting this much. Uh, wow. It's almost like it's an underwater cave or something. Oh, wow, yeah, no, it's a full-fledged underwater cave. Oh my gosh. Big is it? Oh, wow. Okay, we are not doing it all. Okay, I'm just gonna collect my sponges. I'm just gonna leave it like this. You know, if you guys give me to 100,000 Twitter followers before 2022 is over, hey, I left you a project. Here you go. You can come in and uh, get rid of the uh, underwater cave. Okay, I believe I collected them all. And I take your diamonds. I hey, look, more diamonds. So the first part is completely done. We've lowered the hole as much as we could until, you know, TNT couldn't go down any further. I think I have about 40 more Y levels to go through. If I'm lucky, about 30. And then I have a very nice project for these hupin, hupin, for these huge open cave walls. But I mean, the, the entire wall system is going to be a ton of work. Okay, so I actually just removed the beacon because there's no point. Uh, if I put it down there slightly above these again, I can't even reach the floor that I actually need it on. So um, yeah, this was a pain. This is actually the next day. Every single machine has been tested out everything luckily works perfectly i also figured out um yeah when you're removing these make sure you get rid of the tnt first and i i'm not gonna elaborate on why so we're gonna do the first four again we're just gonna have this keep going non-stop we're actually getting to the level with a lot of diamonds so this is really sick Ooh, diamonds oh diamonds and they're all gone there you are. And this is why you always dig around the diamonds because you can usually find more hidden away. What sucks is that the one that got destroyed over here that I saw was roughly four or six. Oh, yes, we're finally getting to bedrock. Oh, this is huge. I was honestly expecting to have to do this for a few hours, but it looks like this will be done fairly quickly. So that's very, very nice. And then comes the very difficult parts. I mean, not difficult, but incredibly tedious. However, that sand duplicator machine will come in tremendous help because it doesn't just do sand. It will do concrete, gravel, your mom. Oh, but then I have to dig everything down. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, so much stuff. Ooh, gotta get to that fast. Please do not come yet, machines. Don't come yet, machines, please. Just give me a little bit of time. Just a few, a little bit more time. I don't know why I'm going for the gold over the diamonds. This is not my smartest decision. Where do the diamonds go? Oh my God, where are the diamonds? Where are the diamonds? They're right there. You move. Yes, oh, there's so many. Yeah, it now takes me three rockets to get out of this hole. I kind of just realized, I mean, it would have taken me the, probably even longer, but I didn't really need to bring down these machines if I was this close to bedrock. Like, I could have mined it. But then now that I say that out loud, I feel like that probably would have taken me a few days to do this. Because this is still slower than cobblestone, and there is still so many. What? That's my cue. Time to run. <gasps> Ooh, it's all diamonds. 
Whoa, oh my god. I don't know why. I, I thought that was a vampire for like half a second. Because I just saw like the red eyes and it, the body looked a lot longer. And I was like, when did they add a vampire to Minecraft? No, I got, I, that, that kind of freaks me out a little bit. That was a little spooky. <gasps> yes. Okay, we need to be really, really fast. Oh no, the machines are right here with me. No, there's diamonds. Oh, well, I already have a ton. I'm pretty sure I can easily make a full diamond beacon. Okay, a few more passes. This one will be done. Ooh, hello. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't seen any cobbled deep slate emeralds down here yet. I know that they're the rarest. And I, I mean, it's kind of a huge area. Yes, go my beauties, go. Ooh. I just saw something blue. I mean, I, I swear I saw something blue. Okay. Don't think I'm going to be finding anything else important down here. So I'll just let the machines keep going. I'm going to go get organized and then fall asleep. This hole has made me very, very, very rich. So it's kind of nice. At least enough for future mega builds. I don't really have to go mining at all because uh, I kind of have a surplus of everything. Like, uh, yeah, this is full. This is full. Like all of those are. This one's kind of doing well. I'm getting a ton of cobbled deep slate which like i'm really happy about uh there's a glitch in the matrix there we go okay phew all the machines are still working uh, we're almost clean down there oh eh, i need lapis oh my god it's another lava lake yeah sweet I think one more pass and then we're finally done with the first four. Okay, so since I showed you kind of, you know, what's going to be happening all the way down to bedrock, I'm just going to fast forward until all of this is cleared out. And then, you know, we'll have to remove this and we'll start mining all that super fun stuff. But we're finally almost done digging the hole. I think I've been doing this like three or four weeks now. Eh, about a month. We're almost done. <laughs> And finally, the next day, I went through and I cleaned up all of the walls. So now everything's kind of repaired. That took absolutely forever. I also lit up all the caves. We finally hit bedrock. Everything is done. We're, I cleaned it all out. We're finally down there. And I have some fun ideas. So I left open a lot of the caves, or actually all of the caves around here, because I have a fun idea where I do have some dark blue glass. And I'm thinking of just covering up the caves just to make it look like the aliens who, you know, excavated this hole, found all of these caves inside of there, and they just put up a force field just to keep everything out and i think it's gonna look really cool on this corner down there i need to remake the beacon because you know if i put it down here i actually couldn't reach down to the bottom of the bedrock it was just gonna be annoying these would have blown it up yada 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 i need to actually go through and remove all of these i think i'm gonna do that first Okay, so before I head back down there, I need to make another beacon, but I went through and I removed all of the tnt duplicator and machine so the entire place is looking a lot oh <sighs> forgot about the other side the other side is also kind of important to get rid of because I kind of don't need these in here. Okay, now the entire hole is complete. I just need to go and put the beacon in the dead center. Yay. If I go at 50 by 50, this should be around the center. Okay, so it's super messy, but I think that this is the center. And then if I go here and then I just go down because I want the beacon to be a lot lower than where I am up there. I think, I think around here should be good. So then I just smack the beacon there. Generally, you know, it is valuable. And then we just start building out the entire uh, pyramid of it, which the water is going to make it super lovely and not annoying at all to do. There we go, second layer done. Third layer done. I think I need to make a fourth. No! Give me, no, come back here. I think I picked it up. Honestly, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I think I picked it up. Please, I'm trying to fly while underwater, please. Oh God, wait, do I have enough iron for this? Did I not get enough? Oh man, I thought I grabbed enough. Cause I need one, two, three, four more. It takes me four rockets to get up here. Oh, how nice. I made a glowing squid farm. Or there we go. Okay, so now the pyramid is entirely done. Let me just go back up the waterfall super slowly. As soon as I, there we go, it's like, a, like pretty soon the beacon should actually uh, appear, hopefully. I hope I didn't build it too low or else that's going to be uh, really fun and not awkward whatsoever. I want my dirt. 
Then we slap the iron ingot in there, get haze two, and then fingers crossed that it actually works up there. It goes back to 16. Okay, sweet. Now that the entire beacon is ready, it works all the way up here. And now to go all the way down to bedrock. This is going to be so much fun. But first, we must go get organized. Ah, this is going to look awesome when it's entirely done. Really excited for that. Especially since this has taken me an immensely long time to make. Let's be a little crazy wacky. Start from up here. Oh boy, I know this is gonna take a very long time. Wow, I didn't realize how much stone I had left. So I got rid of kind of uh, all the stone. We're down to the deep slate layer. The issue, so there, there's multiple things. So I need to go down almost 70 levels until I'm down all the way down to, to bedrock. And um, you can't instant mine them. A given, it doesn't take long. It's just, there's so much. And I was thinking of just using TNT, but since I'm so close to the wall, I mean, I, I can still control it so it doesn't hit the wall. However, just preparing it and just putting it everywhere, I think it would just be faster to just mine everything. I I'm just really, really not. Oh my, hi. I'm just really not looking forward to it. Oh, okay, I did. How did that touch me? <laughs> so now uh, to keep mining and we're, we're still not even done. I'm still just making the hole. I still have to do all of those. And then once I get down to there, I'm going to want to put glass down there. Like, oh, there, there's so much to do. Oh yeah, this is going to be painful. I think a nice saving grace is that there's a lot of caves right below me. So I would do a time lapse for this part, but I feel like they're just kind of getting annoying. And you know, little, we need to just skip to the end of this. We really need to start making some progress on this one. So I'm just gonna go mining for a little bit. We'll see how much I get done in uh, one hour. So give or take, it's been almost an hour. I think it's been like 50 minutes, whatnot. But I only went down those three levels that I first started in about 50 minutes. So we'll just say one hour and I have to do that roughly 20 times. And that's gonna be about 20 hours, more like 15 hours of digging in a circle. I think it'll actually take less because around this area, that should knock down, you know, a bit of time because I will be getting to cave systems as I get lower but I, I don't I, th I might lower like one hour and that's it so yay I gotta go digging for like two days Woo! <laughs> yeah this will be fun I think I'm gonna go mining for about five hours and then we'll see how far down I get but I'm hoping that this can go faster or doesn't take as long as I'm expecting So it's actually the next day. I believe this took me roughly five hours to go down about four different layers. I'm doing it by like by threes. The cave system actually did save me a lot of time. I found another one over there. So I think my idea with putting blue glass along this is gonna look really, really awesome. But oh my gosh, do I hate doing this? Oh man, I hate this hole. I'm, I'm never doing it again. <laughs> I'm never gonna do this again. I don't think I'm making pretty good progress on this, so I think I'm just gonna completely remove the walls just so we can get to, you know, the more fun bits of this. Also to, you know, finally get done with the hole. So now you see the hole, or I guess now you see the walls of the hole, and now you don't see the walls of the hole. It's been about two days and I have cleaned out everything in here. It was a massive journey. I then went through this entire place up and down every single line and row, and I made sure to get rid of every single block because mobs can spawn on bedrock but they can surely spawn on oops on the blocks in here and i want to try my best to make this as spawn proofed as possible even though it's kind of pointless because i'm going to be adding glass above this just to make it look a lot prettier and i don't know more uniform but i don't want mobs to be able to spawn like underneath the glass and ruin rates or something so yeah it's been like a month of me doing this and uh it's kind of a weird feeling it's practically done it's just uh, we have we have one last section that's going to be a tremendous pain to do. However, to get the glass now, it's really not going to be hard. I mean, I still have a lot of glass. I think I still have like a couple thousand blocks of it left over from my previous builds. So somewhere in here, I have dark blue glass. I think I, I actually I, I can't find it. Uh, uh, I don't know where I put it. Um, 
Oh, here. And just so it doesn't go to waste, because I accidentally made this glass when I was building that thing over there, I forgot to add in the, uh, the white dye into it. So yeah, I could have sworn I had a lot more. So I'll probably regret doing this. Uh, I, I do plan on doing another layer of glass on top, but uh, seeing how painful this will be, I'm not sure. I might be lazy because I think I, I think I deserve to be lazy after doing all of this, but who knows? So I want to go to the top layer of all the bedrock and then just add in this blue glass. One, because it's darker than the light blue glass. So I think it'll look a lot better if I have it down here below it. It might add like a cool depth and like a nice like shadow effect to it in a sense. The worst part about doing all of this is that it's going to take roughly 10,000 blocks. My only saving grace is I'm pretty sure there's like 2,000 bedrock blocks on this layer, so it should help cut out a lot of work for it. And honestly, I'm going to see I might not put another glass layer on top of this. Uh, I honestly don't know. We will see. But yes, now for the fun part. Uh, for this one, I might actually do a uh, time lapse. I think a time lapse here would look a lot nicer than uh, watching me go around and place a whole lot of glass. So I finished up the entire floor, kind of have like a lot of glass left over. And uh, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to go through and add another layer on top of this because I really don't like how it looks with all the uh, the bedrock popping up through it and I don't know I'm just I'm not a fan of it I also went through and I marked out every single spot that those light rings are gonna have to go around and it's it's a big boy it's a it's gonna be rough it's gonna be really rough oh god I'm really not looking forward to it um at least I don't have to dig over there and I do have a lot of a uh, light blue glass glass left over and a lot of white concrete so you know at least I got that going for me also uh in case you know I'm like when I run out of blocks for it really doesn't matter because every single thing that I need to build this I can get it from that uh the gravity block farm duplicator thingy and also you know the guardian farm Actually, wait, what am I doing? Wait, wait, wait. I just remembered, uh, yeah, I probably should dig the rings first and then get the materials. I get, okay, good. Whew. So now, why did I take down the beacon? Oh no. Oh, why did I take down that beacon? Now I have to go through and actually like dig out everything. Oh no. No. Oh. This is going to take forever. Now, in hindsight, I could be smart and I could go and just rebuild the beacon. Uh, that would probably save me several hours. So since I've already done a whole lot of digging and there's not really much that I can, you know, uh, show anymore because you know it's all, all the same stuff. So I think I'm going to go through, finish all of these rings and then we can get into building all of it. And we're almost done. We're almost done. It's been like a month of me doing this. I think the last time I've uploaded, it's been like 32 days or something. And I'm really sorry. I I swear I'm like, you know, I'm actually trying to make videos a lot faster. I, I'm not being lazy. I swear. I kind of forgot how long it takes to, you know, dig these holes. And also since I'm making it pretty, so that adds even more time to it. But I, I promise you, okay, videos are going to be coming out a lot faster. I swear. Okay, maybe. So I completely went around and I dug out all of the locations where the lights will go and then on top of that just to make it cleaner because when i put in the glass walls around all of these cave systems it'll make it a lot more uniform i forgot to do that part but it'll make it look a lot cleaner not as messy and i feel like it'd make it more realistic for like a force field kind of a thing in the uh in a sci-fi setting but um yeah we're almost done i just have to fill in all of the holes i think i'm gonna take it you know uh, section by section so do all of the sea lanterns first and then i'll go around and finish everything i was like blah 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 you know you you get it really i don't think i need to explain anything really but uh just to make it more of a uh, movie magic so first up i want to finish those two first layers up there and now that those two layers are done time for the next four and now that those four layers are done let's just finish the rest now every single light ring is done so all that's left really is just to do all the force fields on all the holes for all the cave sections and then do the next layer of the glass on here. Honestly, I, just because it's been so long and, you know, we've already done so much, I think I'm just going to leave it for the next episode. Because the next episode, we're going to have to fill this up with farms. I'll make it all beautiful. I'm going to attach it to that over there. Finish it. Like, there, there, there's so much for the next episode. So I think I'm just going to save it for that one. Luckily, there's not that many caves 
and I have enough glass left over, I think, I'm hoping, really, to finish all of these. So, um, yeah, now we just need to go through and, uh, completely fill in all the caves. And there we go. So I went around to every single one of the caves, and originally I was going to use glass, but I found that, uh, I can have a lot more panes and glass blocks, so it'll just make it a lot easier, so I don't have to get any more. Also, I find that panes look a lot more like a force field if you play sci-fi games. I feel like that fits it a lot better, plus it adds a lot of depth, so you can kind of, like, easily see, uh, caves compared to everything else. And I think it's a really nice touch. I'm kind of happy that I did decide to use panes instead of blocks up there, especially, you know, like, regular stone blocks or whatever, just so we can still see all of the caves around here. And I think it's just a nice fit. I think it looks uh, a lot nicer. And then for the floor, once I go through and add an entire layer of light blue glass, I feel like it's going to, you know, really complete the place and look incredible. But I think we're finally done with the 100 by 100 hole. And I don't think I am ever going to do this again. Or if I do, it's not going to be pretty. I, I just, I really do not want to do this again. But I'm very happy I did it. I feel like this is a really cool addition to the base. And I think designing the 100 by 100 hole like that to fit this is a really, really nice touch with the base. And hey, who knows? You know, if you guys get me to 100,000 followers on Twitter, uh, I think you guys will really enjoy what I'm about to do to the entire base site. So yeah, I you know hopefully you guys can get me to 100K on Twitter before 2022 ends. Uh, I'm going to try my best to, you know, speed along my entire compound and make it look beautiful for you guys. If, you know, if we do hit that number. Next episode, hopefully should not take me as long. So, you know, that should hopefully be coming out a lot sooner. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video or movie, I guess, technically. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.